Greetings. Welcome to the Euclidean Mathematics Center. Mathematics for students by students. Today, we'll be learning about angle arc relationships. In the previous video, you've learned the different parts of the circle. We'll add two more concepts to broaden your ideas. The central angle and the inscribed angle. These concepts are used in the following theorems. Let us start with inscribed angles. Inscribed angles are angles whose vertex is on the circle, as shown in the example below, wherein BAC lies on the circle. Moving on, we have the central angle, an angle whose vertex is at the center of the circle. In the figure below, the vertex of angle BAC lies on the center of the circle. The first theorem we will discuss is the inscribed angle theorem. The intercepted arc of an inscribed angle is twice the measure of the angle. In the figure below, twice the measure of angle A is equals to the measure of arc BC. The next theorem is the central angle theorem. The measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. In the figure below, the measure of angle A is equals to the measure of arc BC. Our next theorem is the semicircle theorem. An angle inscribed in a semicircle is a right angle. In our example below, twice the measure of angle A is equals to the measure of semicircle BC. So, the twice measure of angle A is equals to 180 degrees. We can conclude that the measure of angle A is equal to 90 degrees. Next, we have the inscribed angle in the same arc theorem. Two or more angles inscribed in the same arc are congruent. In the example below, twice the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of arc CD, and twice the measure of angle B is equal to the measure of arc CD. Next, twice the measure of angle A is equal to twice the measure of angle B. And so we can conclude that measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle B. The last theorem is the inscribed quadrilateral theorem. Opposite angles of an inscribed quadrilateral are supplementary. In the figure below, the measure of angle A and the measure of angle C will have a sum of 180, and the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle D will have a sum of 180 as well. Thank you for watching the video. If you appreciate the lesson, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to get more math videos.